Hello YouTube. I wanted to make this video to talk about Joey Gallo right now. So Joey Gallo has been a Yankee since he was traded to the Yankees on July 1st. They're sorry, July 1st. July 29th of 2021. And um, the Rangers received four prospects. And Joey Gallo, or Joely Rodriguez was also in that trade. Um, and Joey Gallo hit 13 home runs, had a 400 plus slugging percentage, but uh, batted with the 167 batting average and a 700 OPS, 707 maybe, not sure, but I know it was just above 700 and a 93 OPS plus. So he did. I'll just say he did mediocre, but, you know, he's still doing his thing, hitting home runs. <clears throat> but uh, in 2022, I was very hopeful that he would be off to a better start than he was in the second half with the Yankees. And um, the first few weeks, it was eh. But then, like, in April, he hit a few home runs, and he was starting to bounce back, but... Always is not doing well. Um, only has five home runs. I think that la the last home run he hit was in Chicago. I'm pretty sure on a, during a Sunday game, which was weeks ago. So and uh, yeah, he's he's not walking much either. That's another thing. So what he's you what he's like usually doing well during these slumps is he's walking a little bit but he's not even doing that um he has a lot of strikeouts i think he has only 13 walks and 59 strikeouts so joey gallo is just not being his usual joey gallo all-star self right now with the yankees and i just hate to see him like this like it's every single game he just has to fight for something to happen. Um, and. You know. Yankees fans. When, when you're not playing well. They boo you. So. Last night. That base was loaded strikeout. Like you could hear the whole stadium boo. And. Um, something I found. Um, interesting. Was that Anthony Rizzo. Actually was like. Giving credit to Joey Gallo. For. Uh, helping Rizzo give himself give Rizzo like some looks at Archie Bradley's pitches since it was uh since Joey Gal worked a full count but um you know he helped Rizzo but um he didn't get a result that was favorable to Joey Gallo so at this point what are the Yankees gonna do well tonight even though a right-handed pitcher starting tonight He's not in the starting lineup. And by the time John Carlos John Carlos Stanton comes back, um I honestly don't know how they're gonna manage Joey Gallo. Um they've had him at DH a few times, but you know, as a DH you gotta hit home runs and get RBIs, and he hasn't really done that. He only has seven RBIs on the season. Um and yeah, I'm just not sure. I I mean, I feel bad for Joey Gallo, and I feel bad for Yankees fans that you know have to watch Joey Gallo play like this. So at this point, I mean, I don't see the Yankees DFA DFAing him at all. Um, of course, me selfishly, I I would like the Yankees to do that to do that so that. Uh, the Rangers can claim him off waivers, but um, I honestly don't see that happening. Because one, the, the Yankees traded four prospects for Joey Gallo. Um, and two, he signed a $10 million deal to avoid arbitration. And that's a one-year deal. So $10 million for someone you traded four top prospects for, it's just not in the Yankees' best interests to DFA Gallo. I mean, I know the Yankees, you know, they're made of money, so 
it's not like they're afraid of doing that, but, um, you know, the DFA him and then him going on a hot streak with another team, I don't think the Yankees want that possibility to happen. So they just want to hope for the best with Joey Gallo. But, uh, you know, this is a different environment for Gallo. I'm not making excuses. I'm not making excuses. I'm just trying to point out, you know, factors that could be affecting Gallo's performance. I'm not justifying his bad performance. I'm just trying to give you all some information. So in Texas, fans are fans rarely boo um, at players in Texas. So Texas or so Joey Gallo received like a pretty um, optimistic crowd. You know, I would rarely hear people boo. I I would never hear people boo at Gallo. I would, you know, at a game one time in 2018, I, I, I would hear a couple hecklers, but that was really the most I've ever heard. Um, but, you know, people on social media complained about Gallo in Texas, but at a game, you know, they were rooting for him. But in New York, where you are expected to win every single time, as much as you can at least, um, the fans are going to let you hear it. And... I think that's just different for Gallo. Um, I'm not saying that's justifying his bad performance, but it's just a different experience for him. And he's in an environment where it's like one of the most active sports media markets in the world, New York. And he's constantly under a microscope for, for from every sports media outlet. And you got podcasts talking about him. Um, I know that one Barstool guy is really on Gallo. Um, I forgot he was called or whatever. I forgot what his name was. Um, he has the vape god hat in his profile picture. I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about. You have him. You have John Boy Media. You got Talking Yanks, who's very active. Um, you got New York Post. You have the WFAN radio station. I mean, he's under a microscope every single day. In Texas, he just had to talk to a few reporters. He just had to talk to Evan Grant, Levi Weaver. Um, you know, the DFW sports market, in terms of media, like, they're always going to focus on, you know, the Cowboys, of course, anything surrounding the Cowboys. And when it comes to the Rangers, they're just more like, oh, they're winning right now. Let's talk about them. Um, they're never like really critical, you know, there are some moments where they're critical, but, uh, you know, not like the Cowboys where they're talking about them in the off season. Um, but it's just a completely different environment for Gallo and, um, he just hasn't persevered. So I am hoping the best for Gallo, of course, but, um, in the off season, He's going to be a free agent, and I do not see him really signing a contract with the Yankees unless it's a, you know, unless it's plentiful. But I highly doubt the Yankees would do that based on what they've been given so far. Um, but, you know, there's still, it's June, and there's, you know, about four months remaining in the season. Um, you know, the Yankees are going to make the postseason. Um, just based on their record right now, they're going to make the postseason. Um, they're just going to have to see if he does well. Because I, the Yankees are not going to trade him because they are really... the People are just going to, you know, take full advantage of that. Because, um, you know, they, you're getting the Gallo that is playing in New York right now. And... You know, teams are just not going to give you top 10 prospects for that. So, the Yankees are not going to trade Gallo. They're not going to DFA him because he's getting paid $10 million on an arbitration avoidant contract. Just not in the Yankees' best interest to do anything. Because, oh, watch a team like, uh, I don't know, the Padres claim him off waivers. And he does very well. I'm really going to stink. So, 
sucks. I hate, uh, you know, it hurt. It really just stinks seeing Gal play like this. Um, but yeah, time will tell. That's all I can say. Uh, but the Rangers play the Mariners tonight at 7 o'clock. Dane Dunning starting. Josh Smith's leading off. So, yeah. Just want to make a little Joey Gallo video.